How about letting an old timer sit in tonight? It's cool. I'm Tucker's brother. I used to run these meetings. Well, it looks like you've changed things a little bit. When I was here, we just... Harry! Gramps? I need your help! Hello? Oh, hi, Grandma. No, it, it's okay. I was, uh... I was awake, sort of, uh, what's up? No. sitting here just yesterday, watching the kids play ball in the street. Jean got such a kick out of that. It's amazing how quickly things can change. But Gramps wasn't even sick. What happened? He came home, upset about something. I've never seen him in such a state. He, he was angry and, and, and frightened. I tried to calm him down, but he was all wound up, and, and his heart wasn't strong enough to take it. What was he so upset about? I don't know. But he said it had something to do with you. He was desperate to tell you something. Your grandfather, Gene, was a wonderful man. He loved to tell stories and laugh at silly things. He wasn't often serious, but when he was, I always listened. And he was very serious about making sure that you got this. of an old record. Listen to the music. He wrote this to go along with it. Grandma, I came as soon as I heard. Oh, Tucker, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, it's all right. I know how you feel. It's my dream. What dream? <sighs> Grandma, I need some time to figure this out. I'll be back later, all right? Come on, Tuck. Do you need anything? No, no, thank you. But call me later, huh? You got it. What's with the note? You have a meeting tonight? Yeah, but I'll cancel. Please. Don't. Why not? Because I need to be there. Why? Deal with this. Might tell us why Grandpa Jean died. So, your grandfather started the Midnight Society. 1937, he and four friends cleared these woods, made the fire ring, and built the storyteller's chair. And there's been a Midnight Society coming out here ever since. Wow, that's a lot of stories. I bet your Gramps told great stories. Just before he died, Gramps wrote down a story. Go right. ahead. His last. And it's the most amazing story the Midnight Society is ever going to hear. He began it over 60 years ago, and it's still not finished. Not finished? He wants us to finish it. It's about five best friends who got this charm from a magic shop. Like the Magic Mansion? Yeah, sort of. They thought it was a good luck piece, but they soon found out the only luck this charm had was bad luck. Great start. Keep going. The charm was called the Silver Sight, and it held a powerful black magic. 
When they found out, the friends tried to get rid of it, but they didn't know how. And then, horrible things started to go down. All because one of the friends, someone they thought they could trust, was using the evil magic of the charm. A traitor in the group? Excellent. So one of the friends took the charm and hid it. He gave each of the others one clue that told where it was hidden. He figured they'd have to put their clues together to find it, and working together was the only way they could destroy it. Cool. Like a treasure hunt. What were the clues? The guy made a voice recording. They didn't have cassettes or CDs back then, so he made a record. He broke it into five pieces. On each piece, he wrote down one clue, then gave a piece to each of his friends and kept one himself. So to find out where the silver set was, they had to put the record back together, get all the clues, and listen to it. Exactly. And that's cool. And then what happens? What happens is this isn't a story, is it? What? Yeah, this is a story. A true story. No way! Gary, this really happened? Well, unfortunately, yeah. Why don't you tell us everything? All right, here it is. Five friends were the first Midnight Society. They never got back together, so the Silver Sight's been hidden all these years. Good! Let it stay hidden. But yesterday, something scared Grandpa Jean so bad, he had a heart attack. And it had to do with the Silver Sight thing. You mean like it, it's come back? I don't know. This note is a plea for help. He gave it to me because he didn't think anyone else would believe him. What kind of help? Gramps wants me to track down the old Midnight Society, get their clues, find the Silver Sight, and destroy it once and for all, like they should have done years ago. Whoa. So how come you're telling us? Because we got to move fast. Gramps was afraid somebody else might find it first. And there's nobody we could go to to believe us, except you guys. So what do you want us to do? Well, I've got four names, the rest of the old Midnight Society. We split up, find them, and get their pieces of the record. That's it. Tuck and I will take it from there. What if we find the traitor? I don't know. Look, I won't blame you guys if you don't want to help. Gary, we tell stories here. Made up stories? This is like real. Exactly. That's why we have to do something, because it's real. Tell us about the silver sight thing again. Well, it's a charm, probably a small thing but it has some kind of power that can really hurt people. Oh man, I'm not liking this. Your Gramps was a good guy, right? The best. I gotta find out why he died. <sighs> okay, give me a name, quick, before I change my mind. <sighs> All right, thanks, Meg. Why don't we just find the guy that hid the thing in the first place? He died the day after he hid it. Oh man, this just keeps getting better. I'll help. Uh, me too, but not by myself. No problem. How about the two of you work together? All right? Don't you think this is a little bit out of bounds? It's all right, Quinn. You don't have to help, man. You know I'll help. Because if this thing gets nasty, you're going to need me. Great. All right, Tuck and I will take care of the fourth man. Now remember, it's pieces of the record that we need. That's where the clues are. We'll meet tomorrow in my dorm room for a status report, okay? All right, let's hit it. Guys, I, uh, well, nice for doing this. You forgot something. What? The story needs a title. done this in a while. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story. Whoa. That's kind of not normal.
No. No in there. Don't be a goof. What? We're on TV. Be cool. This guy's a war hero. This guy's a rich war hero. What's his name? Lane Candle, the oldest member of the original Midnight Society. Hey, check this out. What? What? Step in, men. Don't be shy. Yes, I can see your grandfather in both of you. Except for the slouch, of course. I was very sorry to hear about his untimely demise. I never thought he'd go before me. Pity. Uh, Mr. Candle, we... General. Excuse me? You call me General. OK. General. You were part of the Midnight Society, right? Midnight Society? I haven't thought about that team for quite some time. This way. That was an exceptional group. Every last one of them. That's how I like to remember them. Take it, I have another. Oh, cool. You're slouching again? Uh, we're here because, uh... Speak up, son. If you've got anything worth saying, say it. Well, we're here about the Silver Sight. Why in the name of Sam Houston are you asking me about that? It was Gramps' last request. He wants us to find it and destroy it. You know what it is, right? The question is, do you know what? Sort of. It's like this little evil charm thing. It's the devil's own tool. I'll go home and forget you ever heard of him. We can't. And Grandpa Gene will... Have you got his piece of the record? Well, we're, yeah. we're tracking down all the pieces. And we'd like to have your piece if we could. I always thought something like this would happen. Part of me wanted to pass on before I had to face this particular demon again. I have to dig it out of storage. Come back in a few hours, I'll have it for you then. Thank you. I hope you know what you've gotten yourselves into. No one who has touched the silver sight has emerged undamaged. Generally speaking, I think the general is a little whacked. Yeah, it doesn't matter as long as we get his piece of the record. Gary? Tucker? Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, P.U. What smells? All right, all right, I'm guilty. You said this was gonna be a dangerous mission, not a dirty one. <laughs> well, at least you're getting closer to a piece of the record. Oh, you stink. Sorry. Hey, check this out. Midnight Society, 1937. So how'd you guys do? Not good. We've been to the library, we've been online, we've called everywhere, but we can't seem to find any record of Bruce McGorrow. Well, there's gotta be some trace somewhere. Keep looking, all right? Hello? Gary? Grandma? There's someone in the house. I'm afraid he's... Hello? 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 Grandma? Hello? Grandma? What? Grandma? Where are you? Gary and Tucker, where are you? Boys? Go. Grandma? Are you all right? I'm fine. Someone broke into the house. I locked myself in the bedroom. They destroyed my home. Did you see him? Yes, but I was so frightened that he was wearing a mask. What did he want? Oh, it was horrible. He kept pounding at the door. I thought he was going to break it down, and he kept yelling that he wanted Jean's piece of the record. Oh, my. Oh. Uh-oh. This just got more serious. Okay, I'll call the police and stay here with Grandma. Tuck, go back and get that thing we were after. Yeah, yeah, sure. Good, go. Hey, you sure? Yes, go now. Hey, Grandma. What's so important about a broken piece of record? I think you should read this. It's Grandpa Jean's last story. Hey, it's me. I mean, come for the record, General. Let me try. You sure you want to go in? Well, yeah. He's expecting me. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't bother. It's locked. Hey! Who are you? Hello? General? Hello? Getting creepy. Hey, what, what are you doing, doing here? here? I I'm came to get the. But you're supposed to. Be... to... <sighs> I'm looking for. That! This is her, right? Donna Tilton? <sighs> Looks like her. Excellent! Hey, you can't just take that. Yeah, I can. It doesn't belong to him. I'll tell you about it later. I know why you're here. You shouldn't be playing the way you're playing. What do you mean? Because you're not good enough. For what? To handle the power. Hey! But if you still want to try, what you're looking for is right in here. What's in there? The silver sight? <laughs> See for yourself.
All the eyes are brown. I warn you! It only gets worse from here. Gramps wants me to track down the old Midnight Society, get their clues, find the silver site, and destroy it once and for all. Like they should have done years ago. Tell us about the silver site thing again. Well, it's a charm. Probably a small thing. But it has some kind of power that can really hurt people. Oh, man, I'm not liking this. Your Gramps was a good guy, right? Best. I gotta find out why he died. <sighs> okay, give me a name, quick, before I change my mind. All right. Thanks, Meg. Why don't we just find the guy that hid the thing in the first place? He died the day after he hid it. Oh, man. This just keeps getting better. I'll help. Uh, me too. But not by myself. No problem. How about the two of you work together? All right? Don't you think this is a little bit out of bounds? It's all right, Quinn. You don't have to help, man. You know I'll help. Cause if this thing gets nasty, you're gonna need me. Great. All right, Tuck and I will take care of the fourth thing. Now remember, it's pieces of the record that we need. That's where the clues are. We'll meet tomorrow in my dorm room for a status report, okay? All right, let's hit it. No chance this is right. Waste of time. Yo! Anybody here? I'm looking for... Oh, man. If you want to bite me, you're going to have to catch me. Oh. Help me! Help! Somebody help! Get the dog! Somebody! Victor! Help! Get the dog! What's your problem? Whatever it was, it's gone now. How come you have a beware of dog sign out front? Because I ain't got no dog. From. Good question. You look lost. Actually, I'm looking for 224 Walker Court. It's not here anymore. <laughs> sure it is. Hello? You're standing right on it. Nothing's there. No, you're standing on it. She's down there. Yeah, sure. I know what you're looking for. Really? What? The silver sight. If you want it, follow me.
No way, forget it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yo, bud, I'm looking for somebody. Here? <laughs> Good luck. This is 33 Cow Street, right? Kid, I got any piece of junk that's been made in the last 50 years, but I'm fresh out of people. Now get. Her name's Donna Tilton. Why are you looking for her? Uh, see, I I'm part of this club, and we're looking for all the old members. It's cool, really. I'm not trying to make any trouble. You talking about that Midnight Society something or other? Yeah, that's it. Unless that's a bad thing, then I'm not. Come on. Oh, this is disgusting. I'm here, kid. Kid? Step into my office. Sorry about the mess. Secretary's day off. So, uh, how'd you get this address? I uh, talk to people, you know? Uh, smart kid, huh? Depends. On what? On if you know Donna Tilton. Oh, I know her, all right. Back in high school, Donna and I were the golden couple. Homecoming king, queen, the works. Oh, she was a beaut. Never seen anyone since even came close. So did you marry her or something? No. Ran into the worst string of bad luck you ever saw. I was a star athlete. Broke my leg. Got in a car accident. Nearly bought the farm. Then a fire hit our house. Family got out, but I ended up in the hospital. It was as if this dark cloud of bad luck settled in over me and decided to stay. That's pretty tough. Yeah. But the worst was still to come. What have we here? Were you announced? <sighs> Whew, five miles. I beat the 1102 out of... Whoa! Who is this? We don't know, dear. She hasn't told us yet. Peggy, dear, did you leave the manhole open again? No matter. She's here now. We were just about to have some refreshments. Would you care to join us? Please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While I was in the hospital, Donna started seeing another guy. No way. While you were sick? Well, I can't say I blame her. I mean, nothing was going right for me. But still, that's pretty cold. Hey, that's... that's her. Prettiest can be. 
I was going to try and get her back. But before I got out, she went driving with her new boyfriend. It was an accident. Only one of them made it. Please tell me it was Donna. This is gonna sound nuts, but I gotta tell you. It almost felt like there was some kind of force at work trying to keep us apart. Sorry to bring up bad memories, man. Where are you going? I gotta go tell my friends that Donna's gone. Wait! You haven't heard the whole story. I didn't need to. I gotta. What's that? because of that monster. Leave it alone. Did Donna ever tell you about a record? I mean, a piece of a record that somebody gave her? It's real important, man. That's it. That's the record. Oh, no. It's the only thing I got left of Donna's. But I gotta have it. What for? Because we're trying to find this silver side thing and destroy it. If it's still hurting people, I mean, maybe you ought to help me out. I'll make you a deal. You do something for me, and I'll give this to you. No sweat. What do you want? When I was in the hospital, I drew a picture of Donna. You want me to get the picture? Fine. Where is it? It was stolen from me by the same guy who stole Donna. Lane Candle. Lane Candle, he was in the Midnight Society. Yeah. Get me back that drawing. I'll give you the record. Eleanor Gregory was my mother. She passed on years ago. Oh. Oh, no, that's OK. <laughs> that's ancient news. I don't mean to be rude, but don't you find it odd that we live down here? <laughs> it is a bit dank, but we have no choice. Mother made a fortune in the stock market before she was 20. We always had the finest of everything, and until it all went sour. Oh, wonderful tea, dear. <laughs> so what happened? Suddenly, every decision Mother made was the wrong one. It's as if she were cursed. Eventually, her empire crumbled. What you see here is all that we have left. You're very pretty. Why are you down here? Well, you can't make a fortune without also making some enemies along the way. They took everything they could. Our clothes, most of our cars, the mansion that used to stand right above us. Why, if we didn't hide down here, they would have taken everything. Look back. Oh, yes. The Gregory Empire will rise from the ashes and we'll be back on top again. <laughs> How? I don't know. I'm working on it. Why are you so interested in Mother Eleanor? My friends and I are looking for this charm called the Silver Sight. Uh oh. Please, dear, don't get out. 
What did I say? That thing is what caused Mother's ruin. If it wasn't for that horrid child, we wouldn't have to live down here like rats. Yeah, but... What, what, what do you want it for, hmm? hmm? To use its vile magic? Well, my mother didn't look where it got us! No, but we're gonna destroy it. Uh, uh, you can't destroy it. It can only destroy you! Now get out! Finish your tea, dear. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're not as weird as you think. A at least I'm not. That's nice. I'm glad. Goodbye. Wait. You're looking for that broken piece of the record, right? Well, yeah. I can get it for you. But, but you have to come back later. Once my father's calmed down. Why would you help me? You think I like living in the sewer? If destroying the silver sight will get us out of here, then I'll do whatever it takes. I wouldn't mind seeing the sun again. Okay, I'll be back in a few hours. Whoa, you stink. Sorry. Hey, check this out. Midnight Society, 1937. So how'd you guys do? Not good. We've been to the library, we've been online, we've called everywhere, but we can't seem to find any record of Bruce McGorrow. Well, there's gotta be some trace somewhere. Keep looking, all right? Hello? Grandma? Hello? Hello? What? Come on. Easy. Why are they? Whoa, what's with that smell? Megan's been in the sewer. Nah, smells more like bad perfume. That's it. If anyone wants me, I'll be hanging with the stinky mole people. Hey, what's this? The original Midnight Society. Which one's Donna Tilton? I think that's her. Excellent, I can use this. We have the worst assignment, you know. Let me try. I can't just vanish without a trace. Hello? Hello, Quinn. Uh, hey. My name's... Wait, how'd you know my name? I know a lot of things. Looking for a picture? Well, yeah. Come on. Hey, yo! Weird little kid! Uh, come on, stop messing around! You're supposed to. Be... I'm looking for that. This is her, right? Donna Tilton? Looks like her. Excellent. You can't just take that. Yeah, I can. It doesn't belong to him. I'll tell you about it later. You keep going. You'll look like that picture. Say what?
Hello? Mr. Gregory? Are you? Lang Candle! General Lang Candle. Where are the Gregories? <laughs> I threatened to call the police and they scampered off like rats. What are you looking for? The record. You want their piece of the record. You're the traitor. How many pieces of the record have you found? None of your business. I can make you tell me. What are you gonna do, run me over? Perhaps. Help us, Jim. It's a race that has no winners. You be careful, kid. I don't know what the silver sight is, but it hurt me. It hurt Donna. Ups and downs. to track down the old Midnight Society, get their clues, find the silver sight, and destroy it once and for all, like they should have done years ago. Tell us about the silver sight thing again. Well, it's a charm, probably a small thing, but it has some kind of power that can really hurt people. Oh, man, I'm not liking this. Your Gramps was a good guy, right? The best. I gotta find out why he died. <sighs> okay, give me a name, quick, before I change my mind. All right. Thanks, Meg. Why don't we just find the guy that hit the thing in the first place? He died the day after he hit it. Oh, man. This just keeps getting better. I'll help. Uh, me too. But not by myself. No problem. How about the two of you work together? All right? Don't you think this is a little bit out of bounds? It's all right, Quinn. 
You don't have to help, man. You know I'll help. Because if this thing gets nasty, you're going to need me. Great. All right, Tuck and I will take care of the fourth man. Now remember, it's pieces of the record that we need. That's where the clues are. We'll meet tomorrow in my dorm room for a status report, OK? All right, let's hit it. Oh, you stink. Sorry. Hey, check this out. Midnight Society, 1937. So how'd you guys do? Not good. We've been to the library, we've been online, we've called everywhere, but we can't seem to find any record of Bruce McGorrow. Well, there's got to be some trace somewhere. Keep looking, all right? Hello? Grandma? Hello? What? Hello? What? Come on. Yo, easy. Why are they... Whoa. What's with that smell? Megan's been in the sewer. Nah, smells more like bad perfume. That's it. If anyone wants me, I'll be hanging with the stinky mole people. Ha! Hey, what's this? The original Midnight Society. Which one's Donna Tilton? I think that's her. Excellent! I can use this. We have the worst assignment, you know. Well, let me try. Like, I can't just vanish without a trace. Yeah, but this guy's been dead for what, like, 50 years now? Even so, there, there's got to be some record of somewhere. We've tried the town hall, we've tried the hospitals, we've tried the schools. There's nowhere else to look. <laughs> it couldn't be that easy. Could it? Um, MC? Uh, McGorrell, B. His name's Bruce. He's dead. Why would he be in the phone book? I've got another one for you. Look at the address. Who would live there? Kind of eerie when it's empty. Hey, look at that. Nah, those things creep me out. Don't be chicken. It's just a goof. <laughs> Want to hear your fortune, Van? Come on. We don't have much. Whoa there. I didn't mean to spook you. <laughs> Are you Bob McGorrell? Well, as far as I know. Bruce McGorrell's brother? Right again. Are you okay now? Uh, yeah. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, no. Thank you. I've been waiting a long time for your call. You have? Ever since my brother died. How did he die? Well, it's uh, right over there. Oh, Bruce loved this place. He loved having fun. That's the kind of guy he was. You know, he bought Playland. He did? Yep. Youngest amusement park owner in the world. And he passed it on to me. I suppose I should retire, but being here makes me feel as if he's still around. This was his favorite ride. One day, he climbed up to fix a cable, slipped, and he fell. So it was an accident? That's what they think. What do you think? Oh, Bruce knew this ride better than a spire knows its web. There's no way he'd fall on his own. Somebody or something pushed him. 
So we came to get something. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Uh, come on, this way. Bruce told me someday somebody had come looking for this thing, and I should only give it to him if there was more than one person. <laughs> what do you suppose that is? No clue. My brother was a good person. A long time ago, he took something terrible and, and hid it so his friends wouldn't get hurt. I don't know what it was. But I think it had something to do with his death. You, you still want this? Not really. Uh, yes, we do. What is this? <laughs> Just like Bruce. Hey, he was a riddle man. He loved puzzles, brain teasers, and whatnot. I don't get it. 429 32nd Street. Well, that's the house we grew up in. I don't know what the picture is. My guess is that whatever it is you're looking for, you'll find it in our old house. I told you we had the worst assignment. Uh, thanks, Mr. McGoro. Yeah. The uh, kids. Bruce and those Midnight Society friends of his got mixed up in something ugly. Do what you gotta do. Just be careful. This house is right by mine. Uh, let's call Gary and tell him we're on our way. Ugh. Wait, my shoelace. Nobody's home. I don't think anybody's lived here in a long time. Come on. I don't get it. There's not enough information. Hold on. Yes! Oh, cool! This is it. He hit the record in here. Yeah, but it says he hit it... down there. Oh, no. I got you. No sweat. You must be behind one of these rocks. Was that your stomach? Give me a break. Did you hear that? Hear what? Andy, there's something in the well. Uh, then hurry up. Oh, but we got it. 
know your true enemy? After what we've seen, I'm convinced now more than ever that we've got to find the silver site and destroy it. We can't ask you guys to keep going. You should take off. We still don't get what the silver site is, but we have seen it hurt a lot of people. Yeah, I think we all want to be there when this bad boy goes down. Really? All of you? Spin the disc, man. All right, we've uncovered a long trail of terror and sadness. Let's hope this helps us end it. He was killed the next day. So, what should we do? Let's look at the clues. Listen to the music. Not all the eyes are brown. It's a race that has no winners, with many ups and downs. Know your true enemy. Who's the true enemy? The traitor that used the silver sight. Well, that's Lane Candle. It has to be. Everyone else is gone. He put Vince in the hospital to try to get to Donna Tilton. And nearly killed me in the sewer. He could have been the one in Grandma's looking for the record. I got it. And he set me up at his house. He wants the silver side, man, no doubt. Maybe we should go... Wait, what did you say? I said I got it. Got what? I know where you hid the silver sight. It's all right there. to the music. A race that has no winners with many ups and downs. I bet you it's all right here. The music on the record. Merry-go-round music. And Bruce McGurl own Playland. So where is it? Wait. Yeah, oh yeah. What? The last clue. Not all the eyes are brown. I'm seeing a lot of brown eyes here, man. The silver sight. One of the eyes must be silver. Hey guys, I think I got something. Look. That's not silver, it's blue. It's blue paint. It's silver. Oh man, that's it. That's the silver sight. It's warm. Like it's alive. It's like the more people who touch it, the more it responds. That's what the record said. It's all about the power of the group. Of course. Maybe we should all touch it together.
Congratulations, you win. I tried to scare you off, but you were all too good. And now, the silver sight is yours. All right, then tell me what it is. Don't you know? It's the power to conquer. Armies have won wars with it. Kingdoms have toppled, cities have fallen. And now, it's all yours. Uh, we're not exactly at war with anyone. Sure you are. Everyone has enemies. A mean parent, a bad teacher, a bully. Anyone who stands between you and what you want. Just tell the silver sight and poof! They're gone forever. And who are you? I'm here to help you along. Uh-oh. Put that thing down, son. You're playing with fire. Here's your first chance. Tell the silver sight he's your enemy. He's not trying to help you, Gary. No? Then what is he doing? He is a demon that's collecting souls. That thing may get rid of your enemies for you, but their souls end up trapped forever in that vicious little charm. And who are you to talk? You're the traitor who used the silver sight. Don't you get it? it? Wasn't just me. We all used it. What? No way. It's true. It made Donna popular. It made Eleanor rich. It even helped Bruce buy this amusement park. But it wasn't just one person. We all used the silver sight. Not Grandpa Jean. Yes, Jean too. But we didn't know it was evil. We didn't know what horrors it would bring. And by the time we realized, it was too late. I don't believe you. Now, Gary, tell the Silver Sight he's your enemy and he'll be gone. What happened to my grandfather? He was a good man. He tried to find the charm and destroy it, but something happened. He got scared. His heart couldn't take it. I think he got too close. He got burned by that demon. Who are you gonna believe? A kid like me? Or the guy who broke into your grandma's house? I was just trying to put the clues together before you did. I was trying to protect you kids. Please, Gary. <laughs> Give it to me. I don't know what to do. The last clue. Know your true enemy? That's the only way to beat it. Gary? Gary? Whatever happens, we're in this as a group, right? You. You lied to us from the start. I was trying to protect you. You broke into my grandmother's house and you nearly got Megan killed. I, 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 I was looking for clues, I swear. He's your enemy, Gary. Call him your enemy. You should have told us the truth. You wouldn't have believed me. Do it, Gary. This is just the beginning. Yeah. I know who the true enemy is. I'm going to stop him. <laughs> Use it. Use it! The true enemy. It's you! What? No! You can't do that!
all been released. Gary! It's over, Grandma. Where's the silver sight? Disappeared. I think when it lost his souls, it lost his power. What about him? You all right? Yes, I am now. Your grandfather would have been proud of you, son. Gary! Does this end the story? Yeah. The story ends here. <laughs> So the demon boy never trapped another soul because the silver sight was destroyed forever. The end. Good story, Gene. Thank you, Eleanor. Lang, could you put out the fire? Sorry, gotta run. It's okay, I got it, Gene. Thanks, Bruce. Nothing like that could ever happen to us, could it? Not in a million years. 